Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is just a short video to show you that you can create a storage chest using this system. So as you can see here we have loot chest. So if we open this we have some random loot as you can see. But now we have um, this another chest here. So if we open this, as you can see the name is storage chest and this is empty by default. So now we have uh, an empty chest that we can put items. So we can use this class here, this chest in a crafting system for example so the player can craft this chest put in the world and then put all the items that the player wants of course so this chest is basically what we're gonna do uh, in this video this is really simple so the video will be really quickly but I just want to show you that you can create this type of chest using this system so if you do like this video please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content so let's start Okay, so let's go to Blueprints, um, Interactables, Chests, and here as you can see we have BP Loot Chest, so let's duplicate this. So right click and go to Duplicate, and there we go, we have um, another class here, I will name this BP Storage um, Chest, there we go, let's open this to change some values. So first let's go to the bpc inventory component so just select here and here in the details we need to change the inventory type so let's change this from loot to storage and i will just put uh, zero on this um, loot settings here so zero 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 and i will uncheck this unique loot here and there we go this is basically what we need to do here of course if you want you can change the slots count but i will leave as 10 for now Let's compile and save and now let's put this chest in the world. So let me put here in this wall and as you can see we have the chest here and of course this is the same model but if you want you can change the model to another chest uh, so you have different models for the loot and for the storage right. So now if we hit play and go to this chest so let's go to this chest here and if we press E as you can see we open this chest but we don't have items because this is the storage chest but if we go here to this one this has items by default as you can see so let's open this again as you can see here we have the loot chest here let's change this text so let's go back to the uh, BP storage chest blueprint this one let's select the BP storage chest or class defaults this one here and let's change the inventory name so i will put here um storage chest let's compile and save and let's see if this is working let me hit play again let's open this and there we go storage chest and loot chest so basically now we have two blueprints for chests that do um different things so we have one for storage and one for loot these ones you can spawn in the world uh, like randomly to have loot in the world and this maybe you can use in a crafting system so the player can craft the um, storage chest right so this is it so this is basically it for this video this is a short video but i just want to show you that you can create a storage chest using this system you just need to change some values um, in the inventory component and as you can see we have a chest that is empty by default and we can put items on the chest of course so this is basically it now we have a loot chest that we can spawn in the world to have some uh, random loot and we have a chest class that we can uh, use in a crafting system for example so the player can craft this item and put in the world so this is basically it if you have a lot of different types of chests in your game you may need to create a parent class for this chest so you can and share some common code right so if you have a lot of chest first create uh, a parent class for the chest and then create the chest as a child of this parent class right so this way you can share code and uh, write the code only once right so this is basically it if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content and as always Thank you for watching, keep learning and I'll see you in the next video.